Hey everybody, this is Bill Scheid from the TTM Djembe Academy in Winston-Salem. Another question we get quite a lot is, how loud should I play? And it's actually a really good question, and I wanna answer that by kinda of taking a bigger picture perspective. And I wanna first talk about how to balance the sound of the djembe ensemble overall. And I'll share with you what I heard Mamadi Keita share one time himself. He said, as far as the relative dynamics, the loudest instrument in the front should be the djembe soloist. Just behind the djembe soloist, soloist should be the sangban. And then just underneath the sangban, maybe almost equal, would be the dunumba. Then just a little bit softer would be the kinkini. And all the djembe accompaniments would be equal to the kinkini. All the djembe accompaniments combined would be equal to the kinkini. So how loud you should play is really a question of what instrument you are playing. Now, in the West, where we have these classes where you know you have 20 djembes or 30 students with djembes, 40, 50, 60, 70, that is a very unusual situation and you really never see that in the villages. When I was in the village, you know, maybe we would see two, three, four djembe players at the most, just depending on how big the village is and if djembe folas came from other villages. So the situation where we have all these djembes in class is, is a little bit unusual. And I see a lot of students playing much louder than they have to in class. My guess is what happens, you know, you have a big class and so the teacher is playing loudly so everybody can hear him or her, whoever's teaching the class. And so the students think, oh, I have to play loud too. And then students start playing loud, and then the teacher plays louder, and then this student plays loud, and then that student wants to hear themselves, so they play, and it becomes this arms race of everybody playing louder and louder and louder. Now, of course, it's gonna be much more difficult to balance the dynamics in a big class like that, but if you wanted to actually balance the dynamics of class the same way you would in a smaller ensemble or for recording purposes, all of those accompanies to, accompaniments together would be only as loud as the kinky. It's kind of hard to do, but you can keep that in mind when you're in class. You don't have to play loud, 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 loud. You can take it easy on your hands and balance the sound of the room. If you want to hear two great recordings, these are probably personally my two favorite djembe albums with really, really good balance. Listen to Mamadi Keita's albums, Sila Laka and Hamuna. The balance on these albums is just awesome. For me personally, these are my favorite. It's just really, really good dynamics, great recordings. By the way, you can get both of these albums on MP3. I would recommend getting them on CD because the liner notes that come with the CD they are full of information, really, really good information. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out online at TTM Winston Salem, ttmws.com. And for information on our international organization, TTM Djembe Academy, check us out at ttmda.com. Also, if you have any other questions you want us to answer with these videos, please let us know, leave them in the comments. We'll do our best to answer everybody's questions. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.